What's up guys? So welcome to another Road to Victory. Uh, it's your boy Ebs Fifi and today's gonna be an update on the teams. I've made a I've made quite a lot of changes there. You probably see on the screen there. Uh, there's been a lot of changes, especially to the BPL team. It's no longer just a BPL team. It's now a hybrid team. So we've got two hybrid teams now. Both my teams are hybrids. Let's see what I can do with these teams anyways. Uh, as you can see, I've taken Sterling out, Mornier's out, even Shakiri's out. Uh, my centre mid Sessignon and Dembele have gone out. Even my left back, who was Ali Barba, he's gone out. I don't know if his name was Ali Barba, but him, I know he was Barba from Chelsea. He's gone out. And the centre back, who was Rojo, he's gone out. And even the keeper, Begovic. Begovic, who was a tank. Begovic, who kept me in a lot of games. I've had to take him out purely for chemistry purposes, though. Begovic, no hate. I don't hate you. It's just I do it for the chemistry. Might get you back someday if I can f change up the teams a bit. If the team doesn't perform well, I'll go back and get you back anyways because you were pretty good for me and loyalty is there. But yeah, Mignolet, you better step up because uh, I didn't really want to get you. F I didn't, worry, re didn't really want to replace Begovic, but I kind of had to. So I hope you do step up to the plate, Mr. Mignolet. That would be good. You got Felipe Anderson and Matt. Oh, you've also got Mata. Forgot about Mata there. Sorry about that, pal. Uh, but yeah, uh, Juan Mata in right wing instead of Shakiri. Now Mata is one of my favourite players in real life. If you don't know, I'm a, I am a Manchester United fan. Don't hate me. I've I've supported them since birth, so it's one of them where it's grown up. I've grown up to be a Manchester United fan. So just don't hate. I know we are crap at the moment, but we are getting there slowly but surely. Uh, but yeah, Juan Mata, I think he's technically uh, technically gifted. I think he's a good dribbler, he's got a good free kick on him, and also his passing is pretty much amazing. I think he's got 84 passing in the game. So that'll come in handy for a few through balls to Diabola with that 87 pace, as you can see there. Uh, Diabola is a replacement for Mane. I think Diabola is probably better because he has got better passing than Mane. So good for the link-up play, and he's also got a, be a much better dribbling as well, so... With that, with them four star skill moves, it will come into play. Felipe Anderson, basically a cheap Sterling, same similar sort of stats: ninety two pace, uh, eighty five dribbling, average shooting and average passing. So yeah, not much difference from Sterling. So that will be good. He, he is going to be a good player. You got Castan and Vertonghen at back. Castan, similar sort of player to Rojo, similar pace. But yeah, for obviously for the chemistry purpose, I've put him in. And he is actually quite a beast, because he has got, I think, 81 physical and 85 defending. So yeah, that'll be pretty good. And he's got high defensive work rate as well, so that'll be pretty good. Mignolet, obviously, the only person I didn't really want to change, but the rest of the team is pretty good. You've got Alexandro there at left back. Alexandro's got 85 pace to get up and down. Lovely cross on him as well, so when Darball does get in front of the defender, so hopefully ping one into his head. Not got the best of heads on him, but uh, hopefully make something from there. Obviously, you've got one master there, can do the same as well. You've got Kyle Walker, obviously, up and down. But anyways, same. So I've kept him in the team because he was a beast before. Him and Ander Herrera, two players I had to keep. Um, obviously, Vitonga as well. But Vitonga's mainly chemistry purposes, so I can buy company or. Uh, company or. Well, actually, I'm going to get company and quota for the centre back and uh, goalkeeper spot. So that'll be pretty good. But yeah, into the next team now as well, and this is the When in Rome team. And straight away you probably see there's been a few changes there. Got Jackson Martinez, Quadrado, Guarin, Marquez Yost has been changed from centre mid to CDM. And I've also got Benucci at centre back instead of Varane. Now, the reason for the change is Verdi, who was playing well, I'll give him that, he was starting to play well. Just wasn't clinical at all times. His left foot did let me down a lot of times, and I can't have that in Division 1. I can't have someone who's going to be on and off in Division 1, because I need to win the title. I want that title for Division 1. I don't want to be just... I don't want to be just hanging around in Division 1. I want the title, basically. That's how i got Jackson Martin. I just got bit best of both worlds. He's got good shooting, and he's also got good physical as well. So not only on foot, but also by head as well. We've got two players on the wings, Canopiak and Quadrado, with a lot of pace on them. Threw balls into them, and hopefully get a good cross into Martinez's, Martinez's head. I think he's six foot, so that will hopefully help out as well. You've got Freddy Guarin there, and also Bonucci and Marquez Dior. Those were the other three changes. Guarin there, average pace, 
but he has got good shooting and good physical. His physical, so I think it's 88, which is really, really good. I think he's going to just beast through defences. And also because he's got an amazing long shot on him as well. He'll shug off defenders and get a good shot in. So hopefully that will work into play. Benucci there. Benucci and Matthew, I must say, are two, two similar defenders. And again, similar to Vertonghen and Kastan. But I think they are a very good defensive partnership. And I think that's going to come into play very well. Especially more because you're just in front of them. But yeah, I hope you liked the video. Those are the new teams. If you do, leave a like, comment and also subscribe as well. But thank you for watching. And see you next time.